My people, my people, my name is Marie Nundung. Welcome to my channel. I'm a Cameroonian immigrant based in the United States, Atlanta, Georgia. My mom did vaccinate me on time, and I contacted tuberculosis at four months, and it led to my disability. I have scoliosis, which is curve on the spine. Most of my videos are me, showing cases of myself as I overcome the shame of showing myself on camera. I used to refuse the mirror, and the rejection from people made me very depressed, until Jesus helped to save my life and give me hope. I have two femur bone surgeries within one year because I fell when I was pregnant. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. My people, being physically challenged is not the end of the world. Many people are depressed because no one cares about them. My people, be a blessing to a physically challenged person. Even by fetching words, give them foods, and help cross the road with them. They didn't become disabled by choice, but it happened. And God is the master planner. They are normal people who can go to school and have a profession, get married, and have children without society frowning at them. Many people commit suicide because of the rejection they receive from the world. I was born and my mom didn't vaccinate me on time, which led to tuberculosis at four months and it affected my spinal cord. I grew up as a normal child, but around two years, I became so sick and never was able to walk back to normal. With a lot of therapy, I can walk, but lame. Please, vaccinate your children. And I took the diaper and I came out and I was going back and I feel a boop it was on the floor. Floor here. I'm going to have to watch me inside here and we call for the 911. And in this particular place, this place, I felt it twice. This one I use because I could not sit. You see? This was what I use. You see, and that's what I use. This is what I was using. Because the um my leg was so painful that I could not sit on a low something, I have to sit on something that is high. So they gave me this one in the hospital. So then now it's better, so I don't need this. So I have to remove this one. that I was sleeping my people I was sleeping like this like for six months because my leg when it got broken this particular leg has to lay just on one place like this it has to be like this it was so painful and they have to put pillow on it the pain was not easy the pillow was not so a pillow was the one preventing it not from cleaning. So I slept like this. I could not sleep on the bed. And for four, four, they went to six months old. My people. And I went, when you want to get up, this is you have to touch the ground. Oh God. Well that's enough. My people, those are my legs. My left leg is longer than my right leg. 
so my right leg is shorter than my left leg okay my left leg is longer than my right leg my right leg is shorter so my left leg is the one that has problem is a weaker leg why my right leg is a stronger leg so it makes it um for me to lean while walking and couple with it that i break the left leg it make it worse thinning so but if you don't really know you think just looking at it the left leg will look like if it's the healthy leg and the right leg will look like if it's the unhealthy leg so that's my leg that's my that's where the surgery was being you can see the scar where the surgery was being done on my left leg that's where the scar of the surgery so my leg is still getting healed it's still paining it's still like not before like what i was before the pain i take tylenol see, for now like just to sometimes to subside the pain for my leg so i just some people requested that i want to see your disability we've been seeing your scoliosis your lay your back they will never really see what wrong and what's wrong with your leg so i decided to make this video to tell them what's happening to my leg and if you watch the, the beginning of the video i show you when i had when i fall what happened to me when i was eight months pregnant the stuff i went through and i fall in the hallway as i show you people before and i break my femur bone i could not walk it took a miracle for me to be able to sit up and come back to normal they thought i was even going to just like to go to the other world but thank god i came back to be able to take up my children i just want to thank my family my husband and everybody i just want to thank god especially my husband and the children which needed me more after returning home the memories of what i passed through cannot really be erased that easily so i decided to make this video just like it was being requested i know i made a video before about my scoliosis surgery i'm going to put it underneath this video my people you have to know that life is a mystery and life is so precious without god there is nothing we can do on our own so this is a lesson for everybody i remember i had my baby shower on the 27 on the 26 sorry there on the 27 I have to fall and have this accident which everything never became back the same and it was a life-threatening experience and i want to thank god again for my husband who have been very supportive towards this journey and my mother who live with us she to have been so a great help i had this i was sleeping on this chair that you're seeing i was sleeping on this couch because i could not sleep on the bed the bed was so low and i have to suspend my leg on the on the air it was so difficult imagine with a little baby my baby was just being born and i had to put the bassinet by me but the baby refused to sleep on the bassinet obviously the baby have to sleep on this couch because the baby have to feel my breath in order for him to sleep if not so he will not sleep so it wasn't a, huh, my people i don't know how to explain it and god was merciful so i will pull my body the way i'm pulling like that sometimes i'll bring the baby on that couch and just put the baby by me. Sometimes I won't even sleep because I'm afraid the baby is going to fall. And I'll just be all night watching at the baby. Sometimes I'm going to arrange everything, bring the bassinet by it. And bring things closer to it to prevent the baby not to fall. So all I do was just to sit there. When you see me getting up, it means I'm going to the restroom. That was it. The house was basically where I was living. As you can see that again. Because if you see me get some, I'm going to the restroom because they will bring my food and everything. My people are thank gosh, I was just laying there and watching the TV, just there, praying God to help me to bring back my life. And my other baby was not even up to a year then. The older one was not up to a year. He was like 10 months old. So it wasn't easy running around playing. My mom, bravo to my mom, although she's old and sick, God gave her strength. She had energy to really help me. And my husband was there endlessly. He would go to work and come back and shower the baby and dress him and do everything. Sometimes he has to help me to give me shower. It was so much for him, so I have to be struggling to do shower by myself. I have to wipe myself. I have to maneuver to do it. 
life we thank god for everything it came to pass so i don't know what you're passing through know that there is still a god there who can do it for you thank you very much my people